my name is Mary De Palma, and I'm a sixth grade teacher at Strong Middle School, and I'm out here with the entire sixth grade, um, and we're here to check to see what kind of quality the water is in at the Rouge River, since it's part of our community. We live in the watershed. What kind of uh, what kind of things are we doing to uh, impact this this water system? So we kind of modeled it after the Rouge project. So then it took on some of the other uh, scientific uh, objectives that we have for the state of Michigan with invasive species and predator prey and uh, food webs and then the human impact on the environment. So it's a little bit of both. And how long has this been going on for? Uh, we've been doing this since probably hmm, 2002 maybe I think is our first year that we've been doing it. Um, every year since so we all, we bring the entire sixth grade out every year Started small or no, we started big. <laughs> we went right for the uh, entire sixth grade group We brought all eight groups of sixth graders every year every Ever since the beginning and what do they use with this data? Well, when we get back to the classroom, we're going to talk about what's the appropriate level of dissolved oxygen uh, What's the appropriate pH? Uh, we've already uh, began talking about uh, the health of the environment and what kids can do uh, to improve. We've looked at invasive species, uh, how can you prevent invasive species. Um, and so then we were talking about what is the quality, what are we going to find. Um, it's not, this area is not approved for full body contact swimming. Um, it's a catch and release is what the last warning I saw about fishing in, right in this area. And so then, um, you know, it was more about uh, what's the appropriate phosphate and ammonia and, and where do we get phosphate and ammonia and what impacts the level of dissolved oxygen. And then when we get back, we'll write about um, what suggestions do you have now that you got a chance to look around and you see what suggestions do you have for uh, the people in your community. Well, we have a chemical test sheet here and we're going through several different um, chemical tests by taking a sample of water. We have ammonia and chlorine, which should be at about a zero reading. And dissolved oxygen is uh, more up about between six and eight, that uh, if there's enough aquatic life in the river, then um, animals have some oxygen dissolved to breathe, they need to be a bit higher. Um, lately we've been reading on that one a little bit lower. Um, some kids were getting uh, just a zero dissolved oxygen. I think that might be because we're in the channeled area and there's no plants here to give any dissolved oxygen, but that's just a thought. And then we have uh, two different ways of testing pH, and we're just doing a comparison between the two to see if we get the same reading. Um, and that should be at about uh, between six and a half and seven and a half. And then we're doing a, a nitrate and a phosphate, which also should be zero. We uh, have discussed already what, what kind of uh, what kind of human activity will increase these things, and why why might we get that kind of reading.